Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Following on from last week when I finally put up the finale to my 2023 12 Pans of Christmas project pan, this week we're doing another super late wrap up. This is the finale to my main 2023 project pan. Similar to what I said last week, although I'm very late filming this, the products basically have sat on that tree on my bureau waiting to be filmed so they have not been touched since the project ended at the end of December so the progress on them is exactly where it was at the end of 2023. The update is still the same, I actually I did manage to film the cutaways earlier so the cutaways were filmed exactly when they should have been um, but I'm only just now getting around to filming the main bits so uh, sorry that it's a bit late but as I said last week better late than never so let's get into what was left, which was not very much to be fair, in my project for the finale of my 2023 project pan. There are actually only four products left, so we should whiz through these quite quickly. First one is my foundation, and when I weighed this at the end of the year, it weighed 14 grams. It did start at 34 grams at the start of the project, so we used 20 grams of foundation throughout the year which I'm really pleased with. I was hoping to finish this but it's still coming out at the moment. I feel like it must be so near the end, it is so so light. Every day that I have picked this up to use it I've been like surely this is it. If I leave it on its side I struggle to get product out of it but as long as I leave it standing up it is still coming. I think I said this in the last one as well, like I'm, I'm kind of presuming this will be one of those ones that once I cut it open with scissors that there won't actually be much product around the side. I think it's maybe one of those ones that like all possible product is coming out of. I really like this on the skin, I've really enjoyed using it. I think what I might do is put it away and bring it back out in the summer since it is like a matte finish foundation and try and finish it in those months. I feel like there surely can't be all that much left now so we'll see. I'm sure it'll be empty at some point in 2024 and uh, it'll be very satisfying when it is. The next makeup product is my blush. So the goal for this was to use it 100 times within the project and I have now managed that. So I think at the end of November I had used it 95 times so I had 5 more times to go which I did manage. I stopped counting after I hit the 100 because that was the goal. So I have probably used it a few more times than just another 5 but this is where we have ended up with it. So I've really cleaned up this side of the pan as I said I would do at the last update. There's probably still like another 100 uses left in it. There's still loads and loads of product to go. This may well go into my 2024 project pan. I'm not sure. I don't know if I just want a break from it maybe try and rotate through some of my others. I would definitely like to see a little bit of movement on the bronzer because I definitely, as like an overall long-term goal, want to empty this palette entirely. Maybe I'll take a little break from it next year in my main project pan, but I might put like the bronzer to use 50 times or something in like a shorter term project pan, maybe over the summer or something. So you definitely wouldn't have seen the last of this palette anyway, even if I do kind of give it a rest I keep going to say next year, 2024, this year. It will definitely be back in some form or another even the year after that because I definitely want to have the satisfaction of looking at a fully empty palette. So definitely not seen the last of this one. I've enjoyed using it this year. I got my 100 juices. That feels really significant. So I'm really, really pleased with that. The skincare item that I had left was my Fresh Rose Serum and as you may be able to tell this is now completely empty, finished, it had definitely kind of gone off. I said that in the last update, the smell had gone completely from a sort of nice rosy scent to like pool chlorine. I just ended up using this kind of on my body rather than my face but that is it finished so I've got it for my empties which I am very pleased about.
And the last product to update you on is my hair oil. This is where we came down to, this is where we left it off. I knew obviously that I wasn't going to finish this within the project after we'd kind of hit a certain point and I saw how it was coming down each month. But I am hoping to finish this in 2024, so you may well see it in another project pan. I would like it out of my collection at some point this year. Ideally I would have liked it to have been out of my collection last year through the project, but I'm also not going to overuse something and waste the product just for the sake of that. So yeah, we still made really, really good progress and I should finish this this year without too much effort. So excited to see when it leaves in its final bow in 2024. And that is everything. There was only four products left in the project for this finale. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry that it's so late. As I said, I was just so busy at the end of last year. Then it ended up not very well. My voice was not pleasant to listen to at that point. So I think actually I've started to sound a wee bit hoarse just after talking for, for filming this video now. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, but I definitely sound much better than I did. So hopefully it's not too offensive to your ears. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video which I think will be my last empties of 2023 so that I can then look at my final inventory numbers and close it off and set some goals for 2024 with you. So thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you next week for that video. Bye!